Hi everybody and thank you for joining me in this short video presentation regarding catheter ablation of left atrial tachycardia after previous AF ablation. I hope you will enjoy it and join me in my future video presentations. Our patient is a 67 year old man with persistent atrial fibrillation who had an AF ablation and experienced recurrent palpitation after the ablation procedure. In the first procedure, the patient received only PV isolation. AF is the most common cause of recurrence after previous ablation. However, atrial tachycardia is related to both previously existing and newly created substrate are common after previous catheter ablation. The mechanism of such arrhythmia may include focal tachycardias not identified at prior ablation or re-entrant atrial tachycardias engaging areas of pre-existing or newly generated scar areas. The baseline ECG shows an atrial tachycardia with a cycle length of 280 milliseconds. Looking at the precordial leads, we see a positive concordance of flutter waves or P waves of the atrial tachycardia, which shows an origin from the left atrium. On the right side, the substrate mapping shows a large septal low voltage area not related to previous ablation. On the left side, we see the coherent mapping showing a micro reentrant septal atrial tachycardia related to the pre-existing septal scar area. Ablation of post-AF ablation atrial arrhythmias can be highly successful but needs to be balanced against the potential risk of a stiff left atrial syndrome after extensive ablation in the left atrium. Therefore, detailed substrate and activation mapping, entrainment mapping, and after that targeted ablation is very important in these patients to prevent this complication. Last but not least, review of the previous ablation procedure will help us to understand the substrate that we would expect in the left atrium before ablating these tachycardias. In addition to coherent mapping, the focal potentials on lasso catheter covers more than 70% of the tachycardia cycle length confirming the micro re-entry as the mechanism of the clinical tachycardia of this patient. Once again, thank you for joining me and I would like to invite you joining me here in my future short video presentations. Thank you.